Hello and welcome back. Let's play Delta Force Task Force Dagger as we continue with the quick missions. I do believe we are on... Yep, we are on the final page of quick missions. Uh, last time we took out, if I remember correctly, a Taliban command control and communications facility that they have reactivated after we uh, damaged it during the opening phase of the war. Now we will be conducting Operation Khalid bin Walid, ETG 021445 Zulu, raid the Khalid bin Walid Scud storage site, and demolish any operational launchers. Overview The Khalid bin Walid surface to surface storage facility north of Kabul is a large storage and assembly facility for Russian Scud and Frog class surface to surface missiles. U.S. airstrikes have destroyed most Scud launchers, but Predator Sagan indicates renewed assembly activity. The facility is defended by an enemy force of unknown size and composition. Viper 33 will halo infiltrate to the target, eliminate enemy resistance in the facility, and demolish any remaining operational Scud launchers. Do not allow any operational launchers to escape from the facility. So this is going to be an active assault, so we're going to change back to our future gun there, the OICW. Everything else is fine though, and with that we will start the mission. Viper, this is Super 7-1. I'm orbiting objective. I see enemy activity at the entrance. One launcher is moving along the perimeter. See you at the HLZ. Alright, so we've got uh they say one launcher is moving at the perimeter. That's kind of weird, but. Let's get up and see what we're dealing with. Can't tell if there's actually any launchers inside the facility. Guys, there's no wind. You're supposed to die when I shoot you. Yeah, like that. There we go. Alright, there are a ton of people here, as it turns out. Oh, thank God he uh, stopped in fear there for a second. Alright, we got two more hostiles. Thankfully that guy decided not to do anything with all the time he was given to line up that shot. Oh wow, I wish I could turn like that. Reload. Fortunately these guys seem to be relatively poorly trained, which is uh, working heavily in our favor right now. Wow, look at that dispersion. That's pretty interesting. Doesn't matter how good your aim is when the gun's still... You know, at 500 meters, it was hitting, you know, 12 inches to his left and 12 inches to his right. <laughs> uh, can't, you know... The shooter can only do... So much. But it's that's kind of a nice touch, whereas like the uh the frickin' uh weapons in like Delta Force 2 were just, you know, pinpoint accurate, provided there was no wind, and you were able to line up the shot. They didn't generally have as much dispersion as that. All right, so we we'll call in a close air support mission on this. This is Gamble Viper. Target in sight. Target in sight. Seems like we've cleared out at least their outer patrols, so that should uh, help things moving forward. And here comes the rain. And it looks like our air support today is an F-18, so thank you, Marine Sat slash Sailor. 
depending on whether it's a Navy F-18 or a Marine F-18. Since, certainly at the time of this game at least, both did operate them. Come on. Okay, I think I got him finally. Uh, it's just annoying to see all those shots go around. Oh wow, so I actually was at the right height, but I guess those are the non-explosive barrels. So, yeah, there's plenty of people alive in the base. But yeah, the people outside seem to be dead for the most part. So we'll hop over to the other mountain. That way we can get a new perspective on things. Oh, can our Olympic climbing skills bring us to the top? All right, they can. Oh, I see another ore lamb that needs to be led to the slaughter. There we go. Yeah, I think otherwise we're pretty good. We center on ourselves here. Okay, I have to admit that's kind of funny. So, uh, I had to restart this mission because I got shot. Um... But I had called in air support on one of these scuds, because two of these are functional at the start of the mission. And apparently, I thought I heard an explosion when I started the mission, or restarted it, rather. And apparently, they didn't reset the airstrike, and it proceeded to blow up one of the scuds. So I should still have one air support remaining. Oh, we have contact. There we go. Got him, so that's two more down. So we have three, seven hostiles that we know about. And one of them was running around, but he might just be running around inside that warehouse or whatever. Alright, I want to approach the camp from the east, so let's circle around and see if, uh, we can spot anyone else. But yeah, I do find that interesting, which, uh, shows that it's something I've long suspected, but basically they do a really... It's not, like, a true reset, I think. I think they're just, like, resetting entities back to their start points. But, you know, they aren't reloading the map. You know, maybe they're reloading, you know, some destructible entities, like barrels or such, but... The fact that they would let an in-progress airstrike continue... is <laughs> just silly. Um, you know, it's obvious... This is the first time something so drastic has occurred uh, like this. But there have been signs of this. Certainly, I distinctly remember from... Uh, there's more than a few missions where... Uh, if you restarted the mission, it could bug out and enemies would, like, be alerted at mission start. Um, to your presence, and it's like, I'm still half a mile away. They can't see me. How do they know I'm here, you know? because it wasn't properly resetting the state. And I kind of hope that this doesn't... I fucking hate these sound effects. I thought a sniper was shooting at me for a second, but... Yeah, I hope that, that doesn't screw us. I don't think it will. I think we just got a free airstrike or something, but... 
Are they underground? Is that what this is turning into? They're gonna have scuds underground. I mean, I wouldn't doubt it. I know Iran has a significant portion of their, uh, of their ballistic arsenal underground. Okay. Ow, that hurt. And the frame rate shitting again, which I don't know why. Last time, Origin was doing a download, which, you know, fine, whatever. That kind of makes sense, even though, like, this should all be loaded in memory and not affected by the freaking hard drive speed, because it shouldn't be loading anything. God damn it. I just saw him. Where did he go? Fuck it, I'll go around the other way. There we go. I knew there were scuds in here. Good thing there's no civilians this time that we have to worry about. Unfortunately, our, uh... Hey, we got one. Yes, that's good. Unfortunately, these scuds seem to be relatively explosion-proof. Which is kind of funny, since they aren't supposed to be all that well-armored. I get it, you have a pistol, you're pissed. I don't care, I'm shooting you through the box. Alright, so there's four hostiles left. And this guy's turned around, so hopefully we should be able to infiltrate and find him. I do. Got him. Okay, I'll admit, this is where uh, C4 charges would be nice. Really? Really, two AT4s to knock down a Scud. That's kind of surprising, actually. <laughs> that it's taking more frickin' rockets than tanks do in this. Well, I take that back. The tanks sometimes take two, I think. But, yeah, the fact that the Scuds are taking two is just plain silly. Because... At most, they might be armored against small arms fire like an APC, but probably not even that, maybe? Because they're not supposed to be, like, frontline combatants. These are just supposed... They're just supposed to sit behind your lines. But yeah, I imagine there's one in here, so... Hopefully they'll give us an armory or something, or... The airstrike penetrates the building... All right, we got two hostiles left. And they're both facing that way, so we can swing around and poke our head in here. I swear to God. <laughs> Wasn't quite expecting him to be there, but. Now we can swing around the other way. Okay, I see him. Clear. And we do have another scud in here, so 
I think what I'm gonna do is just hope that, uh, I mean, I can throw some grenades at it, but I think we're gonna need an airstrike for this. Viper 3-3, requesting close air support. I wanna be further away. <laughs> Let's say do have like some scud missiles in there. Up oh, there's our air support. <laughs> it just phases through the building. That's amusing. Oh, we don't have an exfil point. Oh, there is an armory. Okay, so we weren't like screwed but that's good to know at least these Taliban scuds will not be terrorizing anyone today so let's head to debrief and of course by debrief I mean absolutely freaking nothing but all right we only have five missions left so looking forward to finishing those and starting the campaign and that thank you all for watching and stay tuned for next time and stay safe out there we'll see you then